What's up guys, Sean here. Today I have a really cool unboxing and first impressions to do. The item in this box is from Metin Boss. Those of you who are unfamiliar, he makes titanium scales for many different knife models. He does very, very good, precise machine work. And these scales right here, I actually got from him so I already know that he does excellent work. And I've really been wanting to do a titanium Spyderco Shaman. So let's open up this box and see what we got. The Shaman that I'm gonna be putting these on is the Z-Wear Micarta Sprint Run. This is a Excellent, excellent shaman. Z wear is very similar to crew wear as far as blade seals go. Um, for a pocket knife, it is a great, great blade steel. Keeps an edge for a long time and it's also very tough. And it also sharpens up very, very nice. Um, it's pretty easy to sharpen. It takes a Super sharp, very sticky, aggressive edge quite easily. So definitely a steel I would highly recommend if you have a chance to get your hands on some. Wow. Guys, this is beautiful. Sticker down there. Just so you guys know, my channel stickers are still available. Um, comment down below if you're interested and shoot me an email, which is always in the description down below. But wow, guys, look at that. That is freaking beautiful. Look at this machining. Very, very nice. Wow, okay. So I am really excited for this one, guys. All right, guys, so on my PM2 here, this is his reptilian engraved pattern. So he has several different um so he has he makes these scales for several different knife models with this pattern here and you can um look him up he has a store on etsy um not sure if he sells anything on ebay but he also has a facebook group he makes excellent excellent stuff and he's a great guy so yeah, and his name is also Sean. So he gets extra points for that because as we all know, Sean is the best name ever. And these right here is his topographic pattern. So if you're interested in these, um, he also does this pattern for all the other knife models that he makes scales for. So yeah, tons of options. Um, this is actually textured because it is laser engraved. So it gives the smooth titanium some texture and grip, which is essential in my opinion. I do not like a knife that is perfectly smooth. I love having some kind of texture and grip because my hand's wet. I want that knife to stay where I want it. So let's get to it, get these suckers installed. All right, guys, so for tools, you're gonna need a T10 Torx. You will need a T8 Torx and a T6 Torx. I prefer these Weha soft touch Torx drivers. These are excellent. I've been using these same ones for a long time now, and the tips are still just as good as the day I got them. They will not mess up your screws and they um, 
they they just work really good so taking my t10 and we are going to pop out this pivot screw and if you guys have never changed shaman scales before it is nothing to be intimidated by these are probably the easiest scales to swap so you want to um, do this with the blade open by the way you don't want to start with it closed because once you loosen up that pivot when you swing your blade out it can cause you to get some scratches on your blade because it will rub up against the liner so next i'm taking my t8 gonna pop out both these boom boom And then just like that, your scale comes off. Super, super simple, guys. And one thing I always do when I'm swapping scales or anything that involves taking the knife apart, I like to have some 91% alcohol. I keep it in this misting spray bottle. Paper towels, one of these paper towels, spray really good. Take this, spray that again. You cannot have too much um, alcohol when it comes to cleaning. This is an excellent solvent for grease, oil, dirt, um, anything that is gonna get inside of here. And it will allow you to get it really nice and clean. Everything's clean now. What we are gonna do, oh. First things first, we need our lube, baby. Lube it up. My pivot lube of choice is Gunny Glide. This stuff is really good. Really, really like it. Um, KPL is all right, but I prefer this stuff over KPL. Focus, focus. All right, so, focus, yes, ma. All right, so, again, a little bit on that pivot and a little bit on the pivot washer. You only need one drop, guys. This, your pivot lube will spread itself out evenly. And you don't want too much in there because then that's gonna start attracting dirt and gunk and all that stuff. You only need a very, very small amount. See right there what just dropped down? That is too much, but that's all right because I'm gonna get it over smeared it over to where the detent hole is which is this hole right here fucking focus goodness right there and then i take my washer so you're just gonna work that around with your finger right there. And then take your paper towel and you're gonna just clean off that excess. Especially up here, away from the pivot, you can hit that with um, part of your paper towel that still has alcohol on it and that'll take it up. So you're just left with a very light coat on the pivot washer itself and your pivot because that's the whole purpose of your pivot oil is not to completely submerge all of the components. So we are going to take our show size scale We are gonna drop our liner in place. 
keep your liner in place. Line it up with your stop pin, your pivot. Everything lined up. I'll look down inside. Make sure your liners are seated. Now we are gonna take the pivot screw, drop that down in place. Take my T10 Torx, and I'm gonna get this screwed in just snug. Just snug, guys, not tight. Then you take your other two screws, Just snugging them up. They do not need to be super tight yet. So just snugging them down. Double check, make sure everything is seated properly. Let's see, are we still centered? All right guys, so we are still dead center. Very nice. Next up, you need to remove your pocket clip. Typically, they have T6 screws. We're gonna do the same thing with this side, guys. So that scale is popped off. And all we're gonna do is quickly clean this liner. We are going to clean this side of the knife. Same thing, just a drop, just a smallest tad on the detent ball. You're gonna drop your pivot, uh, you're gonna drop your bronze washer down into place. Next up, drop our liner on. Make sure it's lined up. Take our Second scale, drop it into place like so. Make sure everything is seated. Okay, so everything is seated properly. All right guys, so we're gonna pop our screws out of this. guys same deal starting with the pivot screw and I just want that snug snug like a bug in a rug snug like a bug in a motherfucking rug 
That's how we do it, guys. That's how we do it. Oh, baby. All right, now it is not centered because it is still left loose. I only tightened it, uh, well, I didn't tighten it. They are all just snugged. So take my T8, go back down here. Gonna finish tightening up. These T8. Okay. Make sure everything is still seated and all even. Looking good, looking good. All right, guys, now what I like to do, I like to tighten down your clip side pivot screw, all right? Then you tighten up the show side. Oh. Boy, I didn't even have to do that. It dropped shut. Guys, this is freaking bad ass. Ow. I think I just got bit. This is my shaman that I did the um, Cam Me First Impressions video with. First knife I sharpened on the Cam Me, and this thing is stupid sharp. All right, guys, I am I am freaking amazed once again. Sean over at Met and Boss has not let me down so far, and this is no exception. These feel freaking amazing. Shaman is already my favorite um, knife of all times. Now it just intensified. Holy moly. Guys, this is fucking sick. If you guys are thinking about getting some titanium scales, for your shaman, look no further because I'm telling you guys, just just take my word for it. These are legit. All right, guys, I love them. And I'm gonna get to enjoying these and you guys get to ordering some because these are fucking awesome. Hope everyone's having a great day. Thank you for watching. And as always, stay tuned. I'll see you guys in the next one.